He sleeps in a hammock, constructed of gaffer's tape and tie wire. He can teach sound guides to count to three. The most prized brushes in the world are made from his leg hair. He can tie a bullet without a tree or a photograph. He tightens sea clamps with his teeth. He is the most interesting technician in the room. When he breaks wind, it smells like fog food. He uses telepathy instead of wireless comm. He is always underdressed in case of a spontaneous quick change. He speaks fluent DMX and Bachi. He is so environmentally conscious that he uses lab students for counterweights. He can perform all the roles in Lion King simultaneously. You heard me. He is said to have amassed a massive collection of kilts, but never wears them. When he whips stitches, he uses a real whip. His DMX address is always 42. He never once uttered the phrase, the Scottish flag. On the rare occasion that he wears all black, he actually is invisible to the audience. He has a cummerbund for every occasion. Every occasion. He whistles anywhere he damn well pleases. He is the only man known to have produced 24 by 36 inch napkin. He is allowed to take the cue before the stage manager says go, but he never does. When he designs lighting, every show is exactly 17 cues. Costumers line up to measure his insight. His green room is actually green. He does three shows on Monday. He gets every reference in Forbidden Broadway and title of show. He could grow a luxurious full head of hair if he wished, but he does not out of respect. His buttocks are so supple that they have been used to texture feet. At one time, USITT. Well, we can't talk about that. My friends, I do not always hook up at USITT, but when I do, I hook up with a fellow. <laughs> Detective, my friend.